upcoming. Possible for high motion games, use game capture if possible for maximum performance. Use window capture with IRO enabled if game capture is unavailable. What's happening guys, my name is Alex and welcome to a new video. It is Tuesday, it means a new OBS tutorial for you guys and in this video I'm gonna show you guys how to stream in 720p resolution on Twitch, whatever site. I'm just gonna go run through all the settings you need to know. I would say let's get started. Okay, so we're in OBS as you can see right now and uh, we're just gonna click on a file or down here, just click on settings. We're gonna run through all the steps you need to follow to in order to stream in HD 720p resolution. I have my, yeah, it says op name and that means uh, recording in Dutch. I'm gonna put it on uh, streaming okay and then we're gonna go to encoding and this is where you want to look out for your upload speed and your resolution so in order to you know do this you want to go to speedtest.net and do a speed test and then what you want to do you can go to this OBS estimator and you can fill in everything you you have so and they will give you the best settings on based on what you have so let's say we have a CPU let's pick I have a, I have an i7, I have a um, AMD Radeon, so I'm gonna put, I'm gonna pick this one. Let's say high motion, let's pick Battlefield 4. And then this is where you want to put in your upload speed. If your upload speed is 4.2, you don't want to fill in 4.2, you want to fill in 4,200. If your upload speed is 2.5, you want to fill in 2,500. If your upload speed is 3.7, you want to fill in 3,700. That's basically it. So my upload speed is around four and a half. I'm going to put in 4,500. And your, what is your approximate screen uh, game resolution? So you want to put this to 1920 by 1080 because this is your resolution of your game and not the resolution you're streaming with. You can click on the recommend settings and then at the right you can see all the things you need to fill in to in your OBS so in order to make everything right. So as you can see, set the FPS to 30. Consider setting FPS to 60 with a resolution downscale if you have spare CPU power for improved motion quality. And then for the game advice, uh, try to aim for the highest bitrate possible for high motion games. Use game capture if possible for maximum performance. Use window capture with IRO enabled if game capture is unavailable. And then this matters the most. So you want to fill in, you, as you can see, uh, the minimum the minimum to stream in HD, your upload speed needs to be at minimum 2.5 in order to stream in HD. Um, anything above it is just great it will work if your upload speed is more than 2.5 you can just stream in hd enable cfr for compatibility with streaming services enable cbr for improved stream stability recommend bitrate the recommended max bitrate and the recommended buffer size are both 3500 so you want to go back to obs and you want to fill in in those two boxes 3500 like i have check cbr like it said also enable cbr padding check mark this box otherwise you're not able to set this custom buffer size and the bit rate for the audio you want to pick anything above 112 because other than that it's going to be pretty pretty low quality so actually you're pretty much done on this part so you're going to go to broadcast settings and this is where you want to pick your source so of course it's a live stream i'm going to pick twitch and you want to fill in your stream key and you can find that on the dashboard of your twitch so i filled in mine real quick and actually you are pretty much done for this part so now we're going to go to video and this is where you want to pick your resolution for 720p. So you want to just want to pick your video card you want and the base resolution is you want to bring this down to 1280 by 720. That is 720 resolution and for resolution downscale you do not want to downscale it. You want to hold the FPS on 30 like it said on the estimator and you're pretty much done on this part. Then we're going to go to the audio tab and here is just your um, audio device that you want to hear uh, from. Just let's say you want to pick your speakers and click, click, pick this one. This is where you can pick your microphone you want to use. I have a microphone on my webcam and an external one. This one is the Samsung COU1 Pro. I'm going to pick this one and you can boost your desktop sound like with your game whatever if that's too soft you can boost your microphone and I'm just you know the mic offset you want to keep it on zero milliseconds I have mic boost on two just because I just want to boost it up a little and then actually you're pretty much done so you want to go to the advanced tab and as you can see you want to copy everything that I have um, because it's actually pretty basic all those set settings and if it's like this you don't want to mess around with any with them so so that's basically how you stream in 720p
So that's how simple it is guys. So you just want to go to the estimator of course and then you can just fill in your upload speed. Just go to speeddesk.net, check your upload speed and then if you have upload speed like 3.5, just fill in 3500 and then you will see everything listed on based on your settings, the best settings of course for your 720p streaming. So that's it for this video guys. If you want to see more of the OBS tutorials every Tuesday at 12 p.m. PST, make sure to subscribe down below. Thank you guys for watching for the continuous support. And I would say I'll see you guys tomorrow for a Sony Vegas tutorial. So until then, I will see you guys very soon. I'm gonna give you guys six tips for beginner drivers. My name's LTHH Official. As yeah. always. Yeah. And I upload one video every day of the week, except on Saturday and Sunday. I'm just gonna start streaming live. First question for today. So that's gonna be through this hall. It's gonna be pretty dark. So we have the door. Feature your comment or your question. And I'll see you guys in the next video.